What if I give you a cylindrical workpiece and ask you, is it really a cylindrical? By looking at the workpiece, we can decide that it's a cylindrical workpiece or not. What if, the workpiece is not perfectly circular? Can we measure the circularity of a cylindrical workpiece? Yes we can, let get started. Circularity measurement using electronic and mechanical comparator. This experiment splits into two types, first mechanical, second electronic, in mechanical the required apparatus are vernier caliper, bench center and dial indicator. We have to place the workpiece like this in the bend center and place the dial indicator on the workpiece. Now measure the diameter of the workpiece. There will be a couple of marks made in the workpiece. The distance between each of them denotes 30 degree angle. The initial point should set to zero. So now we have to rotate our workpiece 12 times, where it have 30 degree. So we will calculate for a full 360 rotation. If the points move counterclockwise then the value should be noted down in negative, positive if it's in clockwise direction, since the least count is 0.01 millimeters. We have to convert the value taken from the dial indicator. After taking all the 12 positions, we have to plot these values in polar graph or in Excel chart. First draw the master circle, by considering the workpiece diameter, after that plot the deviations of the 12 positions, now draw a circle on maximum deviation point, and minimum deviation point. The distance between these two circles is called, circularity error. Now the second part of the experiment is electronic comparator using indexing method. For this experiment the required apparatus are, vernier caliper, indexing head and electronic comparator. We have to place the workpiece in the indexing head, and place the electronic comparator on the workpiece, same like the previous experiment. Measure the diameter of the workpiece using vernier caliper. The indexing formula is 40 divided by n, and denotes the number of position, we should take 12 positions, so 40 divided by 12, instead of going to decimal we have to keep it in fractional. So it will be 3, 1 divided by 3, we only have couple of indexing plate number, so let's take plate number 51, in our calculation if we multiply 17 on both numerator and denominator, we will get the value 3. 17 divided by 51 3 denotes the number of rotation 51 denotes the indexing plate number and 17 denotes the whole selection after setting up everything we have to manually set the workpiece diameter in the electronic comparator now mark the initial point now rotate it three times. After rotating three times now we have to skip 17 holes in the disc number 51.
After moving the knob to the position, note down the deviation from the electronic comparator. Now repeat the same process for next 12 positions. We have to, subtract the workpiece diameter with the deviations, measured from the electronic comparator. Circularity always comes with plus or minus tolerance. After calculating all 12 positions, plot the values in a polar graph or excel chart. First draw the master circle. By considering the workpiece diameter, after that plot the deviations of the 12 positions, now draw a circle on maximum deviation point, and minimum deviation point. The distance between these two circles is called, circularity error.